Welcome back. Olawale Shola joins us now on the segment. Olawale, good morning. Good to have you. It's been a while. I think we had him about. All right. No fault of ours, though. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Wale, it's, it, it's good to have you. Um, we're going to be talking about the Super Eagles and UEFA Champions League, but of course we have to start with the UEFA Champions League. We'll get to Super Eagles um, uh, later. Um, let's start by taking a look at the results, then you tell us if there's anyone that came to you um, as a surprise. So let's quickly take a look at the results uh, of the UEFA Champions League. We already know what Liverpool did last night. We'll uh, talk about that as well. Cristiano Ronaldo also uh, set um, a, a new record when they defeated uh, Dortmund. So you get to see those um, uh, results. Um, okay, that's it uh, on your screen. Uh, Liverpool, sounding victory over Spartak. NK Maribor played a one all draw with Sevilla. Uh, yeah, Feyenoord uh, defeated Nap Napoli. Uh, I'm surprised, but Shakhtar Donetsk inflicted the first defeat this season on Manchester City. Uh, so uh, that's it. We, some of the results there, uh, those matches, Group E and Group F, the ones you're seeing uh, on your screen. Some of the matches um, were played um, as well. We'll get to see that uh, shortly. Uh, FC Porto, uh, Vincent Abubakar was on song for FC Porto. They defeated um, Monaco 5-2. RB Leipzig uh, lost at home to Besiktas. Real Madrid in Group H defeated Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Pierre Merrick Bomeyang, that was on the score sheet, wasn't enough. His team lost to um, the defending champions. And of course, Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, people now call them the Hope of England. Fielded a lot of youngsters, but were still able to defeat Apoel uh, Nicosia. Uh, Wally, let me really um, listen to you. Um, any results that came as a surprise last night? I'll probably say Napoli. Napoli? Losing in the final. Final away? It's a bad result for them. They've been doing very fine in this way until they lost to Ju Juventus at home. And the fact that they didn't like, the, 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 over the weekend, <laughs> and then losing to Vienna again, it's a bad patch for them. I think they are going to a wrong bad patch because um, they've lost three points in this way. They didn't qualify again in the Champions League. And give it to the Shatter the next day. You hear me? Sicilia, let, let's face the fact. They've been in some they life. They have they came, they, came, they came to Manchester <laughs> City and they gave City a run for their yeah. money. Do you understand? So I'm not surprised with the result. That I, I, I do next. Okay. Though City, they know they've qualified. They rested on their hands and uh, it's expected for a team to have qualified. But the next give them um, a good run for their and, 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 and the, the good result. One major result yesterday, you don't like that. We have to talk about it. Liverpool, they are in blistering form. Scoring seven goals against Patak. Now, this isn't alone. I guess you hear me, Cecilia. They've called, they scored seven goals two times against teams in the group. That's amazing. 23 goals. That's now. amazing. <laughs> and by the way, they don't have a traditional striker in their team. Roberto Firmino, naturally, is a traditional striker. He can play skipper. from the flank. But the way, what they have, and I've been telling people, is the pace they have at the, at the wing. The Mane and Salah, they can take on Even an exam. Even Coutinho. Even Coutinho. If you give them space to play, they will wreck havoc. Okay. So that was what happened at Sparta. Right. They, they wrecked the other uh, havoc. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, since since the brother, let's quickly talk about it. Before we look at the teams that, that are through the round of 16, um, Cecilia, uh, you've, you've been talking about some of the things Jürgen Klopp um, has, has been saying and also their stats. But, but we start with uh, what they had to say. If my team beats anybody 7 0, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be singing. Uh, but I think the say. thing is, if you can just translate that into the Premier League, I say if we perform like this, then it is obvious. A threat. That's a threat talking about them winning the Champions yes, League. That's yes. what he's talking about right now. Then that's 100% a threat. If you see how uh, Dom uh, Sholanke performed in Stoke and of course how Danny Sturridge also performed when he came on, he could have scored two or three. He made a goal for Sadio. That is good. Now, just take a look at this crop of players right now. You talked about uh, Femi, you talked mm. about uh, Felipe Cotillon, yeah. the one the guy wanted by Barcelona scoring a hat trick. Sadio Mane scoring twice. Mm. And, and, and I think uh, Liverpool, I don't know, Jurgen Klopp, that's something he's doing in the Champions League that he can really not replicate at the league level. Okay. No, um, okay. okay. Let me allow Sorry. No, no, okay. Let me allow the level of competition okay. in the Premier League is different. Okay. okay. Week in, week out, you have to play at the, at the, at the top level which is not easy, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, if you check it out, Cotillo has been in top form. He has scored five goals in two matches, two against Stoke, three against Patak Moscow. So it's good for them. That's one. Number two, the only problem they have 
Cecilia Alex address is a defense. Okay. If you check it out all season, they have a very good midfield. They had a very nice, very nice attack. But the defense has been the Achilles heel. Do you understand? Now I'm thinking in January, he has to go for a top defender. He has no choice. <laughs> you won't be surprised. He they might be coming from the from they might be uh, coming uh, for Bel Belgio. No, for Belgio. Okay. So, Belgio. Okay. He okay. may come for Belgio, Southampton. Right. Southampton. Do you okay, understand? Fine. Because the web. Yes. Because he's so not playing. He's not playing Europa like League. He's not, not cup tied. Tied. Okay. He's not cup tied. So he's one of the best that he can, can get to show off the defense. Because if they don't okay. show off the defense, they'll continue to have the same problem. Okay. So okay. when you can right. have the same problem, when you keep scoring goals, but teams call, keep come, keep can come to you Back. and score goals, it becomes a problem. That's what happened against Sevilla. It did 3-0. Okay. Before you knew it, it became 3-3. Yeah, this is the start of Liverpool coming from that game. For Felipe Contius, a penalty that he scored was the fastest goal in the Champions League game at Anfield. Three minutes, 51 seconds for Liverpool. And the first time, this is the first time you are in 2006-2007 that four English sides have finished first in the respective groups in a single Champions League campaign. So I think... Uh, British journalists will be singing right now. Mm -hmm. Because England is the first nation to have five different uh, teams qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League. The last one was uh, 2003, since 2003 and 2004. Mm -hmm. Mohamed Salah has scored more goals in all competitions than any other player this season in the Premier League. Of course, he had 18. So this guy was a good buy for it's, them. It's remarkable to think that he doesn't start all the matches. And, and you, know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, the modern day football has changed. Football has yeah. evolved. Before, people that was called 18 goals at this time of season are traditional strikers. Mm -hmm. They're number nine. He's not in number nine. Mm. No, Orlando and Messi have set um, the standard that mm -hmm. you don't need to be a number nine. You need to goals. score goals. Now, Salah has come into the Premier League and is scoring goals for free. It shows that things <laughs> have changed. Because we thought, okay, the body was a money last season. They needed something to leave that body in money. money. They got Salah. And he has delivered. He has delivered. Or the period that Mane was Even beyond the expectation, Yemi. Yeah, I mean, beyond expectation, yeah. he has delivered. He's on top of his game. Scoring 18 goals is not, not a tea party. It shows that Ma Salah will give Liverpool 30 goals in the Premier League this season. That's yeah. what the time say. And yeah. secondly, okay. yes, okay. yes. 30? Yes, okay, 30 yeah. goals. We yes. have a long time. Now, to secondly, you said something. Champions League. <laughs> there are four teams that led their groups in the Champions League. Now, what, I'm, what that one is telling you is that the Premier League is back. It's a data. It might be, it might be back. Are you